Welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of reviews into medieval equipment that's currently for sale. You'll find lots of DIY videos into costuming and furniture. You'll find lots of analysis of medieval events, who were the key people and why did events take place the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might like to consider subscribing. Uh, and in this video what we're going to do is we're going to make a medieval style cloak. Bear in mind I'm in Australia and it really doesn't get that cold here, certainly not in Brisbane, uh, Queensland. But I did want to have a really nice cloak that I could wear for um, whilst I'm out camping and at some of these events. I wanted something that was going to be uh, cost effective, uh, look the part very much so, but also um, really kind of bring my character into life. So I decided to use a really nice heavyweight linen uh, and this is a really good product, I really like this and we're going to, um, I'm not using wool for this one, let's take a look, it's going to be really good to wear. For a project like this the first thing we need to do uh, is to measure uh, how much fa uh, fabric we're going to need and in order to do this you need to measure roughly from your collarbone which is sort of through this area here and you measure down the length of how much how long you want your cloak to be. So in my case I'm looking for a cloak to be around about 120 centimeters. On top of that you need to add your seam allowance which in my case is two and a half centimeters and also add your neck measurement which is uh, in my case going to be six inches or 15 centimeters. That gives you your total length. The amount of fabric that you're going to need is at least three times this. Now I always add a little bit more because uh, you can sometimes, um, just in case something goes wrong, I always want like to make sure that I've got enough fabric regardless of what happens. Right, so once we've got our fabric, the, the next thing we need to do is go out and, and purchase the fabric raw from the shop. Once we've got our fabric, the next thing you need to do is wash the fabric and air dry it on the washing line. And what this does is it uh, ensures the colours have been sealed properly and that the fabric is pre-shrunk. Uh, and so there's no dramas, no surprises as you go along. Alrighty, once we've done that, now we need to start looking at cutting our fabrics out. Okay. So hopefully you can see uh, I've marked out a triangle based on the, on the measurements, the, my total length being 137, that being 120 length plus 15 for the neckline plus seam allowance 2.5. And I've got one triangle here. I'm going to try and get uh, a total of six triangles based out on the length. So we purchased three times this length of fabric. So let's see how we go. As you go through your sewing project it's always really important to make sure that you've got the top side of the fabric consistent as you go along. Um, in my case there's no real top or bottom side of the fabric so it doesn't really matter too much.
I'm using a red linen edging which will uh, just add a really nice trim to the cloak. Alrighty guys, all finished, all done. It's come out really, really well. I'm really happy with this. This is a great cloak for people who are in warmer climates and don't really have to worry about the cold quite as much. Uh, I've got a nice little pewter buckle here as a cloak clasp. Everything's come out really, really well. So happy with this. This has been a great project. It's only taken a couple of hours to go from the, uh, the pattern right through to a completed project. And it's probably cost me less than about $60 Australian. So it's a great little project to do. Super for Halloween or if you're into fantasy, LARP, which is live action role play, or the SCA, Society Creative Anarchism, and also obviously for, for medieval reenactment. But I'm really looking forward to using this and um, uh, I'm really, really happy with this. This has come out so well. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.